So we have two interfaces. Yeah, one is like super main and another is the editor. What's the difference between both of them? Editor is um it's like what you see in your website, for example, this uh, component, you see these descriptions and how it's placed. All the front end related things you wanted to customize, you'll be able to customize through the editor. For example, let's say I wanted to customize the, the listing. I'll go to the global styling and then I will like customize the listing card. Let's say if I wanted to change the typography settings, then I will just do it from the, the editor itself. Or else there is a home page component, for example, this component I wanted to change like the image here or um, make some style changes. I will do it in the editor. But for example, uh, from a marketplace perspective, yeah, from a marketplace perspective, you have these listings. These listings are created in your end website by your end users. What is end website? So I'm in this crowdfunding demo. When I click preview my website, you are not able to see here. It goes to another URL called crowdfunding one dot ready dot co, and here it has the, the campaigns. And I have like logged in and all those things. This is like this is like your end website, your white label um, website where people can um, like add campaigns and then like manage manage anything they want. But however, uh, for example, this data structure, the data structure means so. For example, here you have like um, human development, student scholarship, and you have like other things it's like like pages, yeah and uh, and also like uh, when you are like setting up the account it's going to ask you like a few informations you can simply say uh, this is like an account form yeah account form or when you add a campaign you can say like a listing form yeah there are informations here this is this data structures when user fill these informations they're going to be available so super admin is basically like an uh, a database but uh, it's not like a real database but 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 all the things your user does when they make a donation is going to be available under the others when they add campaigns it's going to be available here all those data where you can see from a, the admin perspective you'll be able to see here and when you wanted to make some not front-end customization but like platform level customization maybe you want to set up the payments maybe you want to set up some commissions and then you want to change the lang add a language or you wanted to change the currencies is all like system setup yeah so the system setups you will set it up from the super admin and when a users are like registering all those things those user records listing records accounts you know, for transactions and all those things will be available here and also your medias as well will be available here so you can upload like a lot of bulk uh, medias here and then you can go here and uh, and you can like change i mean like if there is uh, assets available in your admin panel it will be available here as well and for example when you upload it here it will go back it will be stored here as well and also there are like some system emails yeah like welcome email and all those things you will be able to customize it here yeah and uh, what else should we explain so yeah so so just to summarize editor is for you to customize the front end the super admin is for you to manage your platform like maintain your platform the records and all those things everything is stored here so the the in your super admin it's always a one super admin but under the editor you can always have a multiple websites what i mean by that for example here you see here there is like an another view we created so when I change this, the information which I'm going to change here, so let me just go and change. Um, launch, launch your, um, for example, let's, yeah, here there is a spelling mistake, yeah. So maybe I'll change it to fundraiser. I save this, publish this. So, so it's still a fundraiser. Actually, there is a change in the, the layout as well. In the change, I can uh, make it from here. 
but anyway that's a different uh, topic but but now when i when i go to this default domain you will still find the spelling mistake it's because that is different from uh, the, this domain is different from this so whatever things you change here you're changing in a domain level but 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 like but in both place in both websites you will still consume the same set of data you can always like customize uh, what data you want to show what data you don't want to show you can always like create collections and then change it so so if you wanted to create like uh, i mean i showed you here like two websites yeah so if you wanted to add even further uh, websites you can always go to your oak space and add another domain to still consume the same data but it's just maybe a different url you want or like maybe it's a different like um how do i talk uh, uh, yeah it's a different interface for a different use cases okay it's up to you and whatever the content you added in pages and blocks it will be uh, it's it's always shareable shareable means whether you uh, open the pages from this website or this website it will be still visible so that's the difference between the super admin panel and then the editor